Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has planned to build 16 anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft. Cochin Shipyard Limited and GRSC had signed up the contract for construction and supply of these anti-submarine warfare corvettes in April 2019 with each ship builders constructing eight of these warships. At present, Cochin Shipyard Limited is constructing three warships, GRSC has launched two warships and constructing three more. Next week is going to be huge for GRSC as ship builder has planned to launch fourth survey vessel and third anti submarine warfare shallow water craft and will lay keel for the seventh one. The anti submarine warfare shallow water craft is equipped with sophisticated sonar equipment including a hull mounted sonar and towed low frequency variable depth sonar for detecting and intercepting hostile submarines. These vessels are not only capable of detecting submarines but can also detect mines laid by submarines and midget submarines. In addition, it has capability to interdict and destroy subsurface targets in coastal waters. These ships can also perform search and rescue operations during both day and night in coastal areas and defend intruding aircraft and lay mines on the seabed. Each vessel has a displacement of around 750 tons, length of 77.6 meter and width of 10.5 meter. The vessel will have a maximum speed of 25 knots and a range of 1800 nautical miles at 14 knot speed. The vessel will be armed with one RBO-6000 anti-submarine rocket launcher, six lightweight anti-submarine warfare torpedo and anti-submarine mines launched from mine-laying rails. It also features a 30mm naval gun and two 12.7mm M2 stabilized remote control gun. The GRSE class survey vessels are a series of four survey vessels planned to be built by Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Kolkata for Indian Navy. The order value of these four vessels is around Rs 2435.15 crore. The vessels are equipped with highly advanced state-of-art hydrographic equipments and sensors including a halo hangar to accommodate one advanced light helicopter. With the capability to carry four survey motorboats and an integral helicopter, these ships can undertake full-scale coastal and deep water hydrographic surveys of ports and navigational channels. This helps in mapping and determination of the navigational channels or routes. In addition, the vessels can undertake survey of maritime limits up to exclusive economic zone. These vessels are deployed for collection of oceanographic and geophysical data for defense application. The data provided by these vessels helps Indian Navy to operate their warship and especially submarines deep inside the blue waters. The reason why China keeps sending its survey and dual-purpose spy vessels in Indian Ocean region is to collect these hydrographic information to be able to effectively operate its submarines. The GRSE had already launched three out of the four survey vessels. The fourth one is going to be launched next week. These vessels are built by GRSC in collaboration with LNT. The survey vessel is a signing example of Make in India with 80% indigenous content by cost. These modern, indigenously developed, 110 meter long and 16 meters wide vessels have a displacement of nearly 3,400 tons and can attain a top speed of 18 knots with an endurance of 6,500 nautical miles. The ship can be fitted with a CRN-91 naval gun. The close range Naval-91 is a naval version of Maydak 30mm automatic gun. With a range of 4 km, the gun has a rate of fire of nearly 200 to 300 rounds per minute. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.